Hello, in this episode, we are going to look at product of sine and cosine. We've talked about many integral of the sine function. We've seen how to integrate sine raised to the power n of x and integral of cos raised to the power n of x. So let's see, what if it is a product in the form integral cos n raised to the power x of multiplying another sign n raised to the power x how do we deal with this this is product integration so the best approach is to use what substitution in integration of the trig function don't forget your substitutions it is very important that mostly we substitute one with the other so we are going to look at how to go by it example we can see integral of this form sine square 3x and multiplying cos 3x dx or we may see integral of sine 2x multiplying cos cube 2x dx in this form, they are multiplying two trig functions, sine and cosine, and here to sine and cosine. What we see here, first, we see that the angles are the same. So first point, we see same angles. So in this form, we have the angle to be what? 3x. And here too, there is an angle of what? 2x. Same angle. And... We also see that one of the trig function is what linear raised to the power one. So we have a linear function. So as this is sine square three x, this is cos three x. So we can say cos raised to the power one. Here, this is sine raised to the power one. This is cos cube. Are we good? So in the first episode or in this part one we are going to look at a situation where we have one of the angles or one of the sine function or the trig function raised the power what one are we good each and every time you have a different question demands a way to solve it so here one should be what a linear function we may encounter a situation where we can have integral of cos 2x multiplying sine cube x. In such examples, this is raised to the power 2, this is raised to the power 3, and they are what? Different. We will see how to go by it. But in this episode, this is part 1, we are looking at a situation where one of the trig function is raised to the power one and we are going to use substitution for our answers so let's look at examples example one find the integral of sine squared 3x multiplying cos 3x dx so with this we can do substitution we can see that the integral of one is equal to what the other but to avoid any negative workings mostly if you are starting check which one will give the negative of the other or which one is convenient to work with with the example this is sine raised to the power what square meaning if i differentiate this i'm going to get the 3x or cos 3x to cancel what out are we good so we can let this be u if we say let u be equal to cos 3x when we differentiate it cannot cancel this this is square it will come and cancel just one and we will be still left with some sign in the question and that will be very difficult to solve so to cancel just one of this i'll just say let my u be equal to sign 3x are we good so the u on the x now will be equal to that will be 3 cos 3x 
and my dx now will be du on 3 cos 3x. So I can do the substitution from the question, which will be equal to integral. My sign is now u. So that will be u square multiplying cos 3x then my dx which is du on 3 cos 3x this can take care of that and i'll be left with integral u square that will be remember there is one on three here this will take care of multiplying one on three du so finally i can bring it out as one on three integral of u square du and i can integrate this that will be equal to one third multiplying another one third u cube plus c so i'm getting one nine on one on nine u cube plus c but here my u is sine three x so finally, it will be 1 on 9 sine cube 3x plus c. So meaning the integral of this function is equal to that. Are you okay? One of them is just linear raised to the power 1. You do your substitution and you are good to go. Let's look at a situation where we have a different function how do we also go by it so example two find integral of sine 2x cos cube 2x and here what you see is that the angles are the same as i said they are the same there's an example where you may get different angles and there's a way to go by it we'll do that in different episodes so here you ask which one is the linear this sign is linear just one meaning if i take you to be the course i can integrate to get a sign which will cancel what out are we okay but if i take you to be sign and I integrate to get a course. This is three times the course. I'll only cancel out one, giving two left, and I can't still go that long way. So let my u be a course two x. Are we good? A course two x. Such that my du dx is now going to give me what? A negative two sine 2x like this and my dx is now going to be negative 1 on 2 sine 2x du multiplying what du this way finally integral this sine 2x Cos is now u, u cube. There's a dx here. So dx is also now negative du on 2 sine 2x. So sine 2x can take care of sine or 2x. And I'm going to get this negative half will come out. Integral u cube du. Are we good? So I can integrate now, and that is negative half multiplying 1 on 4 u 4 plus c. And with this, you are going to get negative 1 on 8 u 4 plus c, where my u is what? Cos 2x. And this is going to give me my final answer. 1 on 8 cos 4 2x plus c. So this is the integral of this function. So in such 
a situation where you have one of the sine or cos raised to the power more than one and the other being linear you use this substitution approach let's look at the part two a situation where they are all raised to the power more than one what do we do thank you for watching this episode and let's meet in the next episode